change, it said, is the only constant. Consider Fuji International Speedway, now in its fifth configuration. Resting in the foothills of Japan's picturesque Mount Fuji, the historic circuit was founded in 1963 with the intention of building an NASCAR-style 2.5-mile super speedway. After one banked turn was built, it was evident there weren't enough funds for such a track, so it was completed as a 15-turn, 3.7-mile road racing circuit with one wicked fast banked corner, it opened in 1965. After a double fatality in 1974, the bank portion was eliminated, and the rest of the track was reconfigured as an 8-turn, 2.7-mile course. Beyond hosting a pair of landmark Formula One races in 1976 and 1977, Fuji had significance for many racing fans as the first real-world racetrack they learned by heart while playing the pole position arcade game in the 1980s or, more recently, the Gran Turismo series of video games. The track was extended to 10 turns in 1982 and 12 corners in 1993, the layout it had won Toyota bought it in 2000. A revamped 16-turn track, now 2.8 miles long, opened in 2005, F1 action briefly returned in 2007. Subaru invited us to Fuji to sample a car that has gone through its own changes, the 2017 BRZ Sports Coupe. It's a well-balanced, enthusiast-oriented car that we've grown to love and surely more than a few reside in the garages of former video game champions. Most owners would probably agree with us that the BRZ could use more power, so we imagine Subaru chose Fuji and its monstrous front straight to emphasize that the BRZ's engine has been upgraded and our demands have been answered. Fuji is such a high-speed venue, though, that it overwhelms the small gain in output. Big changes, small gains. We flew a long way to get our first drive in the revised BRZ, and Subaru's engineers similarly went a long way to gain only 5 horsepower and 5 pounds to foot of torque, bringing the totals to 205 horsepower and 156 pounds to foot these gains in power may seem minute, but Subaru assured us that this was not an easy number to squeeze out of the company's already well-developed naturally aspirated engine. The 2.0-liter flat 4 gets an updated airbox feeding and aluminum intake system, it has 3.0mm larger tubes paired with freer flowing exhaust manifolds. In the cylinder heads, the camshaft and valve surfaces undergo a more rigorous polishing process to reduce friction. The direct fuel injection pump has been tuned to further reduce drag. Pistons are shot pent for added strength, and the crankshaft bearings have been beefed up. While torque still peaks at 6,400 revolutions per minute, the bottom end of the curve is swollen at lower revs. Still there, though, is the characteristic dip in torque between 3,500 and 4,800 revolutions per minute. Keeping the revs up high, above this soft spot, remains a key element of a quickly moving BRZ. This engine is available only with their gearbox of choice, a six-speed manual, which has a stouter top gear for enhanced durability. While the minimal power upgrade is hardly noticeable, what's more apparent is that the final drive ratio has been changed from 4.10 to 1 to 4.30 to 1, which helps the driver keep the revs up in the sweet zone. Buyers who order an automatic transmission will have to make do with the previous 200 horsepower engine and 4.10 to 1 final drive, engineers tell us the automatic cars could not clear pass by noise regulations during downshifts with the new engine. To our ears, the engines sound pretty much identical. Vehicle Slide Control The Boxer engine isn't the only thing that bulks up for 2017. The BRZ's chassis receives minor structural changes across all trim levels and drive trains. Mounting points for the front strut tower brace, the transmission, and the rear struts all have been reinforced. The suspension has been retuned with the larger rear anti-roll bar and revised spring rates, stiffer in front, yet softer in the rear. Subaru let us drive the outgoing models back-to-back -back with new 2017 examples, and the changes were immediately apparent on the track, where the new car's chassis feels more dialed in and body motions are better controlled. 
the stiffer front end delivers a more prompt apex hunting turn into corners, revised tuning of the electrically assisted power steering system provides a more linear response between on-center and full lock. Another major change is that the stability control system, VSC in Subaru speak, has been reprogrammed. The VSC intervened as soon as it detected fun in previous BRZs, but the new default mode lets the driver enjoy a taste of the BRZ's drifting characteristics before taking over. This new tuning felt similar to the former sport mode, which has been replaced by a new, even more liberal track setting for 2017. Now drivers who wish to leave the stability control safety net active can do so with far less annoyance. At Fuji, a blanket of fog lowered to asphalt level and made the surface damp, providing an excellent opportunity to exploit the lines of code in the new car as well as the programming of the old model. The earlier BRZ's VSC steps in abruptly once the rear tires begin to lose grip, but the new programming allows for a smoother, less intrusive intervention. After track mode is activated, a drift can be easily controlled, the stability control steps in only if it senses an imminent spin. Performance, Packaged A new performance package also is available for 2017 BRZs equipped with the limited trim level and the manual transmission. And $1,195 option, it includes sax dampers. Brembo 4 piston front calipers with two pot fixed clampers and back, replacing the standard sliding calipers, bigger 12.8 inch front and 12.4 inch rear brake rotors, up by 1.2 and 1.0 inches, and 0.5 inch wider wheels, wearing the same tires, to accommodate the larger stoppers. The optional dampers further improve body control through the speedway's fast corners, and the steering was predictable yet razor sharp. Entering the high-speed braking zone, it was immediately noticeable that the Brembos, with their better pedal feel and reduced fade, were superior to the standard binders. The car still rides on slide-happy Michelin Primacy HP tires, and the brakes quickly overwhelmed the available grip, leading to early ABS activation. As before, a BRZ owner heading for the track will want to opt for more serious performance rubber. It's apparent that the upgraded BRZ plays well on Fuji's smooth surface, how all this translates to the street remains to be seen. Previous BRZs we've driven have had a firm ride and, as noted in our 40,000 mile long term test and again in our recent drive of the 2016 series. Hyper Blue version, the cabin can be a buzzy place. Nothing Subaru has done to the 17 model is likely to smooth the ride or quiet it down. But the trade-off is a car that rewards the driver with affordable agility and some of the most fun to be had in a new car for less than $30,000. Visual Enhancements In addition to the powertrain and chassis changes, Subaru incorporated other updates. On the outside, the 2017 BRZ wears a broader-looking front fascia, full LED headlamps along with LED tail lamps, and a functional trunk-mounted aluminum wing that's standard on all trim levels. Inside, the new steering wheel is the center of attention. The wheel is slightly smaller in diameter and wrapped in leather, and it incorporates updated controls for the audio and Bluetooth systems. Limited models come with full carbon fiber trim and nicely bolstered leather sport seats with full suede inserts and red stitching. A new 4.2-inch performance display is integrated into the updated instrument cluster. Within the new Rito, drivers can monitor fluid temperatures and horsepower into warp curves. The latter is especially useful for drivers intent on avoiding that soft zone in the power band. As when Fuji Speedway evolved from an 8-turn circuit to one with 10 turns, these changes, although small, are effective. Subaru still stands by its assertion that it will bring an SGI to BRZ TS to the United States. It also says that plans for a second-generation car, with or without Toyota as a partner, remain in the works, inviting us to consider the potential for a BRZ as dramatically different from today's car as the modern 16-turn Fuji circuit is from the one we learned playing pole position in 1982.